20th century ended on a high note as far as coaster enthusiasts go. In 1999, there were more roller coasters built in America than any year in history. 61 to be precise. And in the next hour or so, you're going to climb aboard more than a dozen of the best the century has to offer. Take off your hats and your glasses. Tighten your shoulder harness and hang on to your lap bar. You are going for a ride. America's greatest roller coaster thrills. The next generation. We'll be visiting Universal Studios Islands of Adventure in Orlando, Florida, and taking a ride on their two new fantastic coasters, Incredible Hulk, a huge launching looping steel coaster, and Dueling Dragons, which is not one, but two coasters with intermingling tracks. Also in Florida, we'll stop at Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay, to visit Guazi, their new dual track Woody. Again, two coasters in one, with the Lion Train, and the Tiger Train fighting it out to see who crosses the finish line first. From Florida, we'll travel to Jackson, New Jersey and Six Flags Great Adventure, where we'll ride Medusa, the world's first floorless roller coaster. At Busch Gardens, Williamsburg, Virginia, we'll meet up with Apollo Cheering, the coaster with the greatest total footage of drops of any other, and also one of the top-rated suspended steel looping coasters, Alpengeist and Woody's have we got great Woody's so new the carpenters are still working Twister at Knobles Resort in Ellisburg Pennsylvania also in Pennsylvania located in the sweetest place on earth Hershey home of Hershey candy bars the Great Bear an exceptional suspended steel looping coaster in California, at Six Flags Magic Mountain, a coaster that Batman fans will be proud of. The Riddler's Revenge, a monster stand-up coaster. Also at Six Flags Magic Mountain, the world's fastest and tallest roller coaster, Superman the Escape. Near Richmond, Virginia, at Paramount's King's Dominion, the night sky is filled with flame from Volcano, the Blast Coaster. A launch coaster that thrills from the word launch. Between Chicago and Milwaukee, near the shores of Lake Michigan, we'll pay a visit to Six Flags Great America and Raging Bull, the world's first mega twister coaster that pushes the envelope of roller coaster design. Near Washington, D.C., at Six Flags America, we'll ride Joker's Jinx, another launch coaster that's so advanced, even NASA and the Navy are interested in the technology. We'll hear from the designer. Back in California, the wildest wooden roller coaster in the West, Ghost Rider at Knott's Berry Farm, Buena Park. <laughs> Theme parks and thrill rides are a way of life for some lucky individuals, like roller coaster expert Paul Rubin. I have the best job in the world. Uh, reporting for Park World Magazine, I get to visit all the parks, ride all the new rides, uh, usually before anyone else gets on them. And as a result, I've uh, been riding coasters now for more than 50 years. I've been on 532 different roller coasters, not that I'm compulsive, uh, including essentially all those in North America, many in Europe, South America, and the Far East. One of these unique, new, exciting, different styles of rides is found at our first stop in our turn of the century's greatest coaster tour, Universal Studios Florida. This theme park redefines what a theme park can be. 100 acres of original, inspired, rich in detail, family entertainment. I was 
working on apartments uh, and uh, resort complexes uh, in Orlando, and I got a call from some folks in Los Angeles saying that we heard you might be someone we should talk to about this new theme park we're building called Universal Studios Florida. So I came out here and I talked to him and we sat down for a while and I, I wasn't too terribly interested nor terribly aware of what the heck a theme park was, quite honestly, until these guys opened up the doors to this giant model of Universal Studios Florida that just blew me away, took my breath away, and I looked at it and I said, well, sign me up. Universal Studios Islands of Adventure is found in the heart of Florida, in Orlando, where the climate permits year-round operation. This subtropical theme park is home to some of the most thrilling and technologically advanced rides and attractions ever built, as well as Dr. Seuss characters, Spider-Man, Popeye, and the dinosaurs of Jurassic Park. In fact, I, I headed up the design team for Islands of Adventure, uh, which are the five themed islands, uh, Seuss Landing, Lost Continent, Jurassic Park, Toon Lagoon and a Superhero Island. Islands of Adventure is part of a massive complex called Universal Studios Escape, composed of film and television production facilities, the Portofino Bay Hotel, and Universal Studios City Walk. An entertainment complex featuring a mix of themed restaurants, cafes, live music and nightclubs, theaters, and specialty shops. And hello, did someone mention The Incredible Hulk? Yes, The Incredible Hulk is here too, found in Marvel Superhero Land. It's a Bolligar and Mabillard 7 looper that uses a specially designed booster thrust system. It hurls riders up a 150-foot tunnel with G-force power before sending them careening 10 stories above the ground in a maze of track. A weightless inversion, 110 feet above ground, is a first ever feature. The uh, the booster of the Incredible Hulk is a series is is created through the use of a series of synchronized motors, about 220 of them. It's like 110 on each side, and those motors spin up, uh, and they grab a a fin at the bottom of the coaster, and they spin up at different velocities as you head up the coaster, and that creates the acceleration. It's pretty cool. We get about, uh, you know, 1G of acceleration up an incline, which is pretty close to what it's like to, you know, launch off of a carrier deck. It's your turn up front. Don't turn green.
Universal Studios Islands of Adventure is home to not one, but two of our featured coasters. This one in the Lost Continent section of the park is Dueling Dragons, the first dual track inverted racing coaster. The first time I rode Dueling Dragons, I was surprised and almost shocked when I saw the other train pass by me. I didn't expect it. I've never had that experience before on a coaster. I love it. These diabolical dragon face trains, named Fire and Ice, furiously barrel toward and around each other at speeds close to 60 miles per hour, escaping collision by mere inches. We developed a way that as the coasters go up the lift and they're dispatched from the, the um, uh, dispatch building at the same time, as they go up the lift, we actually weigh the coasters. And if you watch, they'll move and adjust themselves in position as they vie for position. The lighter coaster goes over first. The heavier coaster goes over second because it's got more inertia to catch up to the other coaster. So they'll meet in those three locations that we want you to. Let's check out the view from Front Car Center. Beautiful Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay, Florida, has been a pioneer in the hospitality industry for 40 years, offering rides that cool you off on a hot day. Highly rated entertainment, like their spectacular ice rink ballets and majestic animals, from the beginning, the centerpiece of all the attractions at this gorgeous Southern Florida oasis. evolution has been unique. In 1959, it began as the Anheuser-Busch Brewery and Bird Sanctuary, home to exotic birds of all descriptions, with a special hands-on opportunity for guests. It quickly expanded to include the 65-acre Serengeti Plain, the country's first free-range habitat for flocks of birds and herds of animals. The 70s brought the introduction of thrill rides. And they know their roller coasters. 
Case in point, Montu, one of the world's tallest and longest inverted steel coasters. And Kumba, a giant sit-down coaster of world-class proportions. The latest is Gwazi, a new Woody built at Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay in 1999. Just when you think you've seen everything wood coasters have to offer, here's a new twist. Flybys, Gwazi's dueling two-track coasters, the Lion and the Tiger, deliver a double dose of unrivaled excitement as both trains engage in six harrowing flyby encounters. Gwazi is themed after a fabled African animal, consisting of a lion's body with a tiger's head. And it's just as fierce. Riders careen over 15 hills and a dozen hard angle turns. Its two 3,400 foot intertwined tracks cross six times. Let's take it for a ride, shall we? Okay, hop into the front seat. Gwazi has been waiting for you. Next up, Africa again? No, it's actually Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey. The original owners of Great Adventure wanted a theme park combined with an African safari. 
today, the 350-acre Six Flags Wild Safari remains the largest drive through safari outside of Africa. More than 1,200 exotic and endangered animals call this place home. When Six Flags acquired the park, they invested heavily, adding many new rides and attractions. With a total of 75 rides, they now have the most rides of any park in the world. And their latest, Medusa. This coaster was designed by Balaguer and Mabillard. It's a super coaster themed around Medusa, a mythical creature with snakes for hair, and a look that can turn you to stone. Its 3,985 feet, twisting, arching, inverted steel track can do almost that. And just to add to the thrills, Medusa is the world's first floorless roller coaster. What is a floorless roller coaster? Well, I'm glad you asked. Before the train is dispatched, each half of the floor, which is split down the middle, drops, rotates, and moves out of the train's path. Your feet actually dangle above the track, giving the sensation of flying in your own easy chair. But an easy chair that's run amok. When the train returns to the loading station, it must stop at exactly the same point to permit the floor to return beneath each row of seats without touching the train. Medusa combines traditional roller coaster technology with a twist of imagination to create a unique thrill ride. Here we go, kids. into the front seat with you and wash your feet. One of the most beautiful theme parks in the world is Busch Gardens, Williamsburg, Virginia. The park is themed for various countries of the world, through food, costumes, and customs. In the course of one day, you can visit England, France, Canada, Germany, Italy, where, by the way, another recently added attraction is found, Escape from Pompeii. A contemporary shoot the shoots ride that takes guests through the burning remains of Pompeii before they escape by a watery plunge. In the German section of the park, check out Das Festhaus, an authentic German beer hall, where, of course, they serve Anheuser Busch beer. But save the beer until after you ride Apollo's chariot. This mega coaster has a grand total of more drop footage than any other coaster in the world. During the course of the ride, you'll plummet down a total of 825 feet of hills. The passenger seats are elevated above the car's frame and tipped back, lifting your feet off the floor and creating a free flight sensation. 
There are no shoulder restraints, just lap bars with two hand grips for those who choose to white knuckle the experience. And here we go. It's your turn to take the reins of the chariot. Busch Gardens, Williamsburg, is home to several world-class coasters. The Loch Ness Monster, the Big Bad Wolf, Drakenfire, Apollo's Chariot, of course, and Alpengeist. When it was built in 1997, it laid claim to many world records. World's tallest, fastest, and most twisted inverted roller coaster. World's largest inverted vertical loop. World's fastest inverted roller coaster. And world's largest drop on an inverted coaster. The theming involves a mysterious snow beast, the Alpengeist, that takes skiers on the ride of their lives in a ski lift run amok that's sure to turn a pleasant alpine on it into a blizzard of fright.
Okay, climb aboard the lift and hang on to your ski pole. Noble's Resort, Ellisburg, Pennsylvania, is the location of our next coaster. This traditional amusement park is a cross between a county fair, an old swimming hole, and a campground. It's located miles from the nearest big city, and yet over a million visitors come each year. Why? Well, for one thing, it's a bargain. There's no charge for parking, and admission is free. This has been a family dream to develop the park and we've now become a destination a resort. We just want people to come and have a great time and uh, but uh, we have one basic philosophy and that is to make it fun and enjoyable and affordable for the family. There are 45 pay-as-you-go rides, Pennsylvania's largest swimming pool, two classic antique carousels where you can still catch the brass ring for a free ride and a carousel museum. In the roller coaster department, Knobles has two classic woodies, the Phoenix, and brand new for the turn of the century, Twister. Twister started life as Mr. Twister at Illich Gardens, Denver, Colorado. When the park moved to a new location, the coaster was abandoned. Knobles bought it, obtained the original plans from Philadelphia Toboggan Company made some improvements to the design, and rebuilt it faster and smoother than ever. I was delighted to see the reincarnation of Twister. Uh, I had ridden the original Twister at Elish Gardens in Denver. The new Twister is even better. It's a major league uh, wooden coaster, certainly a top 10 ride. Once is never enough. Let's go again.
Too bad this isn't smell-o-vision. Our next stop is the sweetest place on earth, Hershey, Pennsylvania, home of Hershey candy bars. The Chocolate Factory's visitor center, called Chocolate World, hosts more visitors annually than any other corporation in America. For miles around, the air smells like chocolate, and the streetlights are shaped like Hershey Kisses. The community literally grew up around the chocolate company, and it's become one of America's delightful vacation destinations. Hershey Park started as a picnic grounds for Milton S. Hershey's employees. Today, it's a major theme park. And to welcome the turn of the century, they've added the Great Bear. This is Pennsylvania's only steel inverted roller coaster. It's a Bolliger and Mabillard creation, named the Great Bear for the constellation Ursa Major, which has seven stars, just as the coaster has seven thrill elements. into the front seat for an astronomical ride. Six Flags Magic Mountain is our next destination. This beautiful park is located a short 30-minute drive north of Los Angeles, California. Here, you can rub elbows with some of the Looney Tunes classic characters and come face to face with some legendary heroes. In the Thrill Ride Department, Six Flags Magic Mountain shines. They've got Dive Devil, an attraction so popular you have to make an appointment. Freefall, a ride that impersonates a defective elevator. Viper, their premier steel looping coaster. Colossus, a massive dual track woody. Batman the Ride, a terrific suspended looping coaster. And Riddler's Revenge. This is the world's tallest and fastest stand-up coaster. And imagine trying to stand up while the G-forces are pulling you through the floor. It's really a special experience.
Okay, your turn in front. Now, don't sit down. Also found at Six Flags Magic Mountain, Superman, The Escape. At 400 feet high and 100 miles per hour, it's the world's tallest and fastest roller coaster. But some would say since it's not a continuous circuit track, it's not a roller coaster. The manufacturer of Superman, The Escape calls it a roller coaster. The Guinness Book of Records represents it as a roller coaster. My definition of a roller coaster is any ride that in part is powered by gravity and runs on rails. Superman the Escape qualifies. It's a coaster. And it's certainly a crowd pleaser. Oh, it was unbelievable. I mean, we just take off. Beautiful. 100 miles an hour. I had long hair before I got on there. Unreal. Briefly, here's how it works. The, the linear induction motors, uh, when they're energized, they create kind of a rotating field and uh, mounted on the car are as a series of uh, rare magnets, extremely strong magnets. So the field interacts with the magnetic flux field and there's an attraction and repulsion system that is pulling and pushing as the car passes over the induction motors. Hop aboard, remove anything magnetic, and turn off your pacemaker. You are about to get kicked up a notch. Let's check out the view from Front Car Center. Located in Doswell, Virginia, just north of Richmond, is Paramount's King's Dominion. Being part of the Paramount family, it's common to see Paramount film and TV characters and rides themed after Paramount feature films. The signature ride at King's Dominion is Grizzly, a classic wooden. That's just one of several exciting coasters. Paramount's King's Dominion has pioneered linear induction motor technology, introducing the Outer Limits Flight of Fear in 1996. And now there's Volcano, the Blast Coaster, the world's first and only launched inverted coaster. And as an added credit, the world's fastest inverted coaster. 
I, I love uh, Canada Blast Coaster. Not one, but two moments of acceleration. One when you go out of the loading platform, a second one blasting you in and up uh, the mountain until you're up from the top and then get turned upside down four times. This fearsome ride uses two different sets of linear synchronous motors, or LSMs, to catapult the train through a darkened man-made mountain, around sweeping turns, and eventually out the top of a volcano. Unlike previous limb-powered coasters that are launched from a standstill, the volcano train rolls slowly out of the loading station, and then is propelled to top speed, zero to 70 in a matter of seconds. A second set of LSMs shoot the train straight up to erupt out of the top of the mountain. Hang on to your hat. You are about to be slingshotted into oblivion. Six Flags Parks make the claim they're bigger, faster, closer, within a day's drive of 85% of America's population. Six Flags Great America is halfway between two major population centers, Chicago and Milwaukee, in Gurney, Illinois. And they've got a great collection of rides and live entertainment. Plus coasters, coasters, and more coasters. The latest of which is Raging Bull. When Raging Bull was introduced in 1999, it was a year marked by the proliferation of giant roller coasters. Raging Bull stands out as the world's first and only mega twister. It pushes the envelope of roller coaster design. Bolliger and Mabillard of Switzerland came up with this coaster design. Secured in pedestal style seats, riders start their harrowing experience by plunging 200 feet at 65 degrees into an underground tunnel. Uh, Raging Bull is the first mega twister coaster uh, ever introduced. Unlike the other mega coasters that are out and back coasters, Raging Bull is very compact. It dives back into its own structure. You're always twisting, turning, and going very fast. A simple T-bar style restraint extends from the floor between each rider's feet, with the bar resting across the lap. The trains are sightless, increasing the passenger's sense of vulnerability. For gut-wrenching thrills, the back seat is the place to be. But no matter where you sit, you're in for a heck of a ride.
say the back seat was the place to be. Hey, the view is much better up here. Next up, Six Flags America, near Washington, D.C. A beautiful new front gate and Main Street greet the visitors, transporting them back in time to the colonial era. Founded in 1982 as Wild World, and the name change in 1994 to Adventure World, this park is growing better and better every year. It became a Six Flags park in 1997. There is a new Looney Tunes movie town section, a new stunt show, the Batman Thrill Spectacular. And three new roller coasters. But the big news is Joker's Jinx. This coaster is actually attracting the attention of NASA, interested in the propulsion system and its potential application to space travel. These rides of this caliber, they start immediately. Joker's Jinx, when you get on the ride, they hit a launch button. You have a nine-ton train that's accelerated from zero to 60 miles an hour in just over three seconds. Joker's Jinx features a cutting-edge technology launch system that uses limbs to catapult riders out of the launch area in a sudden, extraordinary burst of speed. This is accomplished by intense electromagnetic energy that propels the train up the first hill without the help of a chain lift. Brace yourself, in three seconds, we'll be at top speed. This is Knott's Berry Farm, 
located literally down the street and around the corner from Disneyland in Southern California. This mom and pop amusement park has come a long way. It started back in the 1920s as a roadside stand selling homemade jams and jellies. Today, Knott's Berry Farm is a major theme park with some impressive credentials and a satisfied clientele of 3.4 million visitors a year. Every October, they turn it into Knott's Scary Farm in honor of Halloween and scare the pants off their guests. And we all love it, don't we? To commemorate the turn of the century, Knott's built their new all-wood coaster, Ghost Rider. With the highest lift hill and the longest track of any wooden coaster west of the Mississippi, Knott's is billing this way the best in the West. Front and center now for the best view in the house. That brings our tour of the next generation of America's greatest roller coaster thrills to a close. But don't worry, the turn of the century renaissance of screen machines is still going strong. I think we're going to see roller coasters continue to have the popularity that they're enjoying today simply because we're getting so many new styles of coasters. In the old days, our grandparents would ride a coaster, they'd be sitting down riding over wood. Today, if you want to ride a coaster, there are 30 different varieties, different styles of rides. Uh, and each one is being built bigger, faster, and wilder than ever before. 
You've just experienced some of the best in America. But just wait, the 21st century is sure to hold many new and exciting surprises.